they I've heard them say that sewing is a hobby pattern collecting is a hobby and fabric collecting is a hobby and I am now in all of those hobbies like all of them are my thing so <laughs> In today's video, I am going to show you my vintage and thrifted pattern stash. I have a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of patterns. It's a lot. <laughs> my husband was like, you've been buying all of these? And I was like, shh. It's a lot. So I get it that you won't be able to walk into your local Joann's and pick up these patterns, unfortunately. But if there's anything that I try to do on this channel, it really is trying to showcase that sewing can be something that's accessible and not extremely expensive. If you take into account things like going to your local thrift store, buying things secondhand, or waiting for amazing sales. So if you haven't already, I did a haul of all of my big four patterns from all of the Joann's and I caught one of the Hobby Lobby 99 cent simplicity sales as well. But I have really acquired all of these patterns waiting for sales and also going to the thrift stores. So I wanted to show you what I've gotten because some of these vintage patterns are amazing. And because style definitely is revolving, a lot of these styles and silhouettes are back in style. But also some of them are just classic and timeless and really suit my personal style preferences anyways. So I would wear them regardless of what fashion is saying because they fit me and I love them. So let's start. Um, I have them broken up kind of by brand, like by um, the, the company. But I also have some that are still in their like plastic bags because I wanted to show you sort of exactly how I got them, the price that I got, you know, which bundles for and things like that so that I could remember. So this is a video for you, but also for me because after I show you, I get to pack them and put them away. <laughs> so let's dive in. I only have Vogue patterns because of thrifting because even when they're on sale at Joann's, it's still $5.99. And personally, that's a lot of money for me <laughs> for one pattern. Though they are beautiful and amazing, I get it. But um, yeah, I've been very fortunate to get some Vogue patterns at the thrift store. So the first set that I'm going to show you, I've got each of these for 50 cents. There's a thrift store in Laurel, Maryland, um, near where I live, that I've gone to, and they just have a really, really nice uh, pattern selection. And what I love about their store is that you get to pick the individual patterns. They don't come pre-packaged and pre-bundled, and that way I get to be really selective about what I need, but then I still get a lot, so we'll see. But look at this Vogue pattern. I got it because of her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker for great like um, cover art and anytime I can identify with one of the women on these covers I'm into it so that's my aunt and I needed to get this pattern but in all sincerity I love this view right here view B I think that's awesome I like that it's a little bit cropped I could see this it's very like Chanel inspired don't you think and then you can add all the trim and all of that lovely detailing. Have fun with your buttons. I've gotten some awesome thrifted buttons as well. I'll show you those. But here are the line drawings. Someone took some awesome notes on this. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is from 1995. So really, really great Vogue pattern, 1995. Here is another easy Vogue pattern and they have five different garments in this look so you have this like wrap style almost like a cardigan which I I like I this was I think my favorite thing in it and even for 50 cents just that little cardigan crop cardigan alone I would have been fine with that this is from 
1990, my birth year. So I really like this. It has the pencil skirt. It has the dress, which, I mean, for me, it looks really boxy, but the picture doesn't seem like it's drop shoulder. So it just seems a little bit oversized, maybe not as fitted. We'll move on. I do have other Vogue patterns, but they're mixed in like the bags. So you will see the other Vogue patterns in a bit when I review the things in the bags. But for the single ones that I picked out myself, the simplicity patterns, let's move on. This is new to me on the day today when I'm filming this, but um, I picked up, this is 6268 and it's this awesome jumpsuit. I don't like that they put the belt on it because it has sort of like a crossover in the front. So I feel like that gets interrupted because they put a belt on it. So I wouldn't put a belt, but I think if I added maybe a little bit of elastic right in the center of the back, maybe that would cinch it in enough where you wouldn't need to add the belt. And then you can really let that beautiful detail in the front just kind of be great, you know, on its own. But I think as a jumpsuit, like view one, with the long sleeves, full length, I could just throw a little cami or mock neck top, a dicky under that and just be good to go. So I really like this and this was from 1983. The next one I have, it's such a thick, look at how big that is, it's like a novel. <laughs> in I mean like in sewing patterns this is big but I loved this because of all of the different views it's another one of my aunties right there I love this pattern this is another 1990 90s babies and I really enjoyed this because of all of the different silhouettes now this does come off a bit more formal and I'm okay with that I like formal but also, I think depending on the print, depending on the fabric, this is, it's just a simple long sleeve midi length dress. Like you cannot go wrong with this. It has a bit of, I think it's gathered or like cinched in at the waist, I think with elastic. I think one of the notions, I want to read this fast. <laughs> yes, they do have elastic right there in the waist that kind of cinches it a little bit. And then you could either do the slim sort of pencil leg or the flared version. I love this pattern. And it's fit and fashion. So, you know, in here is all about like how to get your perfect fit. So I think you could use that just to master the fit of a garment and be absolutely okay. Next up, I got Simplicity 8174. And this is a 1987 pattern. Again, I love vintage silhouettes and vintage patterns. They suit me very well. This has a princess seam skirt paired with like a blousey top. I really like that. Here's the line drawings for it. And yeah, I love the pussy bow blouse. I like the high collar neckline of number four. Um, the pussy bow blouse of number three. They have like a... I don't know if it's called an inverted like box pleat sort of thing on view two and then view one has this like collar detail interesante you know this like large collar is back in style a lot of like indie patterns also have that so not a, not a lot but i've seen them haven't you seen them you've seen them next up for simplicity is simplicity 7777 and for this, it's just the pants. I thought I was getting all of this. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the patterns do come with a lot. It is, I mean, it's not that thick. But yeah, I thought it was coming with all of these top variations. But I looked at the back at the line drawings. It's just the pants. But the pants are very nice. So you get a skirt and then some like culottes and some tapered leg trousers. So pretty nice and some shorts if you wanted that so this is from 1992 50 cents thought I would give it a go so the next set are going to be the 50 cent McCall's patterns that I picked up and this is McCall's 6625 and this is from 
I'll find the year for you in a moment. But this is from 1993. Look at it. It's just the pants again, but it's sort of like a paper bag pant sort of look. You'll see from the line drawings. It has sort of a smooth center, but then the from the middle of the center all around the waist is paper bag. I don't know. I think they look fabulous in it. Do you see my aunt right there? Yeah, they look fabulous. I loved it. So I went ahead and picked this up. When you see them all together, like you're seeing them after like months of me acquiring these pieces here and there. So once I get through all of them, you'll be like, but Famara, you have something similar to that. And you're right, I do. Now I do. However, back then when I got this, I didn't have a paper bag pant pattern. Um, and now that I have multiple of some of these like in style, I know that there are some that I won't feel guilty about cutting directly into the tissue instead of like saving it and tracing it because I don't really have time for that. <laughs> so I won't feel guilty about cutting directly into it because I know I will have another pattern that will, you know, I can keep pristine and kind of sitting there for future use. So that kind of gives me motivation um, to actually use these patterns, like make use of them. But collecting them has been fun. Next up is McCall's 6287. And this is a 1992 pattern. In my notebook, I have been keeping a log of the different types of patterns that I'm looking for. And I put a bomber jacket on my list. Now, Simplicity has a bomber jacket. And I tried to go during one of the Simplicity sales to pick up the Simplicity one in store at Joann's, but unfortunately they were out of stock of it at my Joann's at that time. So when I came across this, it is like classic bomber jacket. Look at that. So the pattern, it doesn't show you line drawings on the back, but I did open the envelope and it is factory folded inside. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, you get like it's a full on jogger set. You get the pants, you have the, the jacket. So I'm excited about this. You can color block like they did. Now the difference is this one is um, a drop shoulder, like set in sleeve version, but drop shoulder. And the one that I was gonna pick up from Simplicity, if you're familiar, is the bomber jacket that they have that has the raglan sleeves. So it's not the same, but I have decided that this is the bomber jacket that I have and this is the one I'm going to make. That's that, yes. Next up is an easy McCall's. It is 6292. I got it because Aunt Viv from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is on the cover. That's it, I didn't need any other reason. I don't care if I never sew this up, but I wanted it because Aunt Viv is on the cover. <laughs> Uh, so this is from 1992 as well. And honestly, she's giving me rich auntie vibes. And Aunt Viv is a rich auntie. So it made sense to me. Um, but I love this ensemble. And I want to make that cardigan. Now, this is size 14, 16, and 18. And I think it is big for me. It's probably going to be a little bit bigger for me. It comes with the cardigan, the top, oh, two tops, like a tunic and a top, a skirt and a pair of pants. So it's like a whole wardrobe if you want it. I don't wanna ruin this. So I think the bottoms at this size would fit me. I think the oversized cardigan is meant to be oversized. So I could probably get away with it, but I might need to grade in maybe at the shoulder seam or something like that just to get the fit a little bit better. Here we have McCall's 5205. And this is from, I'm getting better at finding the year. And as soon as I say that, I'm gonna have a problem. 1991. <laughs> 
All right, so initially when I saw this in the green polka dot one, I fell in love with that and I thought it was a jumpsuit, but I don't think it is. It is Mrs. Tops skirts in two lengths and pants. So I think she, they just have it like paired together. But here it is, so that's what you get. Kind of cool. Um, so just really basic pieces, but also classic and timeless pieces. I think one of the things that I really liked was how high the collar, like the neckline went on the tops. So I feel like that's something that is worthwhile to just have in my stash. And these were for wovens. Oh, this was so cool. So this I got because I just couldn't not get it. <laughs> it was so good. This is 1975 and they call this a butcher apron. So Mrs. Butcher Apron. Look at that line drawing, how simple that is. It's a carefree pattern. It includes all the sizes. And this one says sample on it, which I, I don't I don't know what that means. Like where was it a sample from, you know? But 1975, I felt very lucky to have found this. And it seems like it would come together so easy. And when I saw the way that it was styled here in the red, that's exactly how I would wear it if I made this. So looking forward to that. So this is McCall's 4367. She made me get it. Got it because of her. Um, but I really love these two skirts are my favorite. So views A and B. In view A, I like this like that like triangle sort of thing. I'm into that. I love anything that has additional detail that adds a little bit of interest to a garment that could otherwise be quite plain and sort of, you know, you see it everywhere, but that that's cool. And I like the patch pockets. I just feel like we have seen the silhouette come around and to get it for 50 cents, like the original, you know, this is a 1989 pattern. And yeah, I really like it. Again, they fooled me on this one too. I thought I was getting everything, like all the tops, but it is just the, the skirts. But even that for 50 cents, three really nice, easy McCall's skirts. I was all for it. I'll move on to the butterick patterns that I got and maybe I'll try to go a little bit faster. It might start to get, I'll try, I'll try my best. So for butterick, we have three, seven, five, eight. Look at everything that you get. It's a whole wardrobe in here. You get the pants, the top. What I liked about it was how interesting the top is and it has, these like lines that go through I just thought you could do so much with either color blocking adding like piping or some sort of detail there where they have that contrast the patch pockets really cool she's so sassy I like her in the yellow um my other auntie all right so we have a see and sew pattern and they're a butter at company so I just put them there I love this fit and flare sort of blazer with the princess seam lines. Um, that is a very 80s fabric. Is this an 80? Yeah. Oh, 1988. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, that looks very 80s with the like scribbly graffiti looking um, fabric. But I love the fit on her. And I think minus the shoulder pads, this could be a moment. Anything fit and flare really does suit me really well. And because this is a woven pattern, I could see this in like African wax print, you know, you gotta think beyond how they style it into how you would style it. And I would make this out of African wax print and it would be beautiful. This is probably like, I love this pattern so much. So this is 4625, it's a butter pattern from, I'll get the year for you in un momento. But um, I loved it for every single view on the cover. Like I, these are working women and they are about business. You have the pussy bow blouse. 
You have the high ruffled neck collar. Hello. You have the small like fold over collar, the Mandarin collar, the large collar that's everywhere now that we see, right? Like we have seen this style come back. So I just felt so lucky to be able to have picked this up. And will I get a year for you all? One thing we know is that it was 325. Boy, has have times changed, huh? I'm really interested also like in using a vintage pattern to see how the instructions are, you know, like, will they be as detailed? The nice thing is now that we have YouTube and sewing videos and sew alongs, I could essentially just, if I get stuck, find a sew along for something similar and, you know, figure it out. But I am interested to see how the instructions are in this. I don't think I have a year for you on this one. Sorry, guys, but I'm really excited to have this in my stash nonetheless. Next up, we have B4939, and this is a nightgown set. It's from 2006. Nightgowns, figure, I, I, I could use nightgowns, but if you look beyond the fact that it's sold as nightgowns and just looked at the line drawings of this, I mean, there are tops and dresses in indie patterns, in the big four patterns that have these style lines. So sometimes you have to look beyond how they characterize it, look beyond the fabric that they use. Like this is, in my books, just a dress pattern and I could make this up, yes, as a nightgown, but also like I can make a cute top. If, you know, the fabric is right, this would look awesome. And it's labeled fast and easy, and I like that. So as a selfless sewing, I found these kids' pajama sets, and I picked these up because the kids' pajamas. I got two of them because they're different size ranges. This is from 2 to 6, and this is from six to um, from 7 to 10. Fast and easy. I like that. And I figured I could just keep these for ages and just make my kids pajamas forever. <laughs> um, but in all sincerity, I like that it comes with everything. It came with the robe. It has the pants, the top, and it even has the little footies. You can make little, little footsies for them, which I thought was really neat. So these are from... 1993 50 cents a piece really happy to have those and I got my first Berta pattern from the thrift store so that was really exciting it is unopened it's in a plastic package look at this um so this is Berta 4842 and I got it for view C and view D like look at how fabulous they look and it looks super simple look at that line drawing look how simple that looks to construct there are the pieces all laid out for you yeah I'm really excited about it it has a bunch of different sizes so this is one I might trace I don't know I don't know if I want to cut into this but I like the lines of this I think it's you know, it could be really elegant. Again, really depends on the fabrics that you choose and what you want to use. The recommended fabrics are silk. Oh, my goodness, can you imagine this in silk? Silk, viscose, rayon, cottons, and lightweight linens. I agree. I think it'd be lovely in any of those. Now, those are the like individual selected, hand-selected ones. Now I'm going to go into a really big stash so you could pause it here go grab something to drink if you need to and just meet me back but these I like because they give you a variety and sometimes you might look out and get it for less than that but 
I like being able to select the ones that I want on my own because then I don't end up with excess, like you'll see in a bit, of things that like I only wanted maybe one or two things in the bag, but you just have to get everything so you can get those one or two. So some of these I may leave in my stash for a little bit just to see if I ever end up using them, but I have a lot of other things. So if I don't really care for them, they'll either be re-gifted to the thrift store or um you know i have family members or other folks in my community that might be interested in sewing and maybe some of these patterns are more you know within their style and i could gift it to them as well if they're learning so this is the first bag and hopefully the rustling and the noise is not too much otherwise i'll edit those out but i just wanted to keep them in their bags because I wanted to show you how much I paid for the bundles. So for this set, I paid $2.99 and not really $2.99 because I most likely got this on a Thursday during Thrifty Thursday, which is what I call it because my local value village um, has an additional 20 or 25% off if you shop on Mondays and Thursdays. So it's 25% off of $2.99. So in this bundle, I got this Butterick pattern and it is just some simple like shift, uh, no, A-line dresses. So here are the line drawings for that. It's fast and easy, sizes 12 to 16, so right up my alley. And this was $19.96. Classic, you could, you know, do a whole lot with it. This is a McCall's Make It Tonight. <laughs> so seven nine four nine and i think the line drawings really show it a lot better it shows you what's going on there so it's the top only and it's a size medium three dollars back then and this was a 1982 pattern then you got this which is a new look pattern six one zero five so for this pattern, sizes 8 through 18. Wow, that's awesome. You have like all the sizes. Here are the line drawings there. You get the jacket, the pant, I think the top. I think that's really good. Lots of different ways that you can, of course, style that and make those up. If I can't find the year quickly, then I'll just move on so you don't have to wait too long, but I could also edit that out, I guess. You won't know if I edited it out, would you? No, you would not. I'm sorry, I can't find the year on this one, but you tell me this fashion feels like what, the 90s or, I, I don't, I'm feeling 90s on this. I don't know why, but I'm feeling 90s on that. So next up, oh, this is one of the reasons why I got this entire set, I was like, peeking through the plastic trying to see what was in it and I saw this it's like a trench coat ish but look at the line drawing of the back and that's what kind of sold me on it I like that it has that seam that like center panel and it's just like a dolman sleeve almost it seems like it would be really simple to put together I particularly like this green one it's also, when I read the like description of it, it is a Mrs. Reversible jacket. Reversible. So that white that you see, you could, I'm assuming, flip this entire jacket inside out and then have a white jacket with the green lapel, which I thought that's neat. I've, I've never made a reversible anything. So this is a 1979 pattern very excited about that and then there is this new look it's just these tops and a vest or like a shell if you want six 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 and again I don't think I can find the year on these I'm not sure what's going on with that new look but um yeah another new look pattern some selfless sewing thrown in there. So this is the sweet sizes half. So like six months, that's so sweet. Sizes half to four, <laughs> half years old. 
4924. This is a so easy simplicity pattern. Look at all those awesome views that you get there. So yeah, my daughter could definitely use some of these. She's at least half years old, so that would be nice. Next bag. And I, I, I did not go to the thrift store at one time and buy all of these. It's been a long 2021. And my like me days, my me moments, because it's not full days, I just sometimes want to go and walk around at the thrift store. And if I so happen to see patterns, then I bring them back as souvenirs. That's what I've been doing to keep sane in 2021. So this set of patterns was $2.99. Um, so even less than that. But I got this new look pattern 6838. And what drew me to this bundle, part of it was this. I love, I think they call this a bateau neckline, I think. And I really love that neckline because it sits a little bit higher. It's like almost like a slash instead of a true scoop, which I prefer. And I like that you get the shell as well. Um, I probably wouldn't necessarily make the, like, it's not really a V-neck, but I probably wouldn't make that version. And then the pants were just a bonus. I think for me, I really just like the bateau neck um, tops. And I think the line drawings will show it a little bit more as well. I believe this is intended for knits. Yes, for knit fabrics only. So that was another reason I was drawn to it. I last year did not sew with a lot of knits at all, but have recently purchased knit fabrics and was looking for different patterns that I got to make some knit garments. Uh, sizes extra small to extra large. Yeah, really happy I have this one. Next up in this pack as well, when I was peeking through the plastic, I saw that they had a bias skirt, so I had to snag this up. First of all, the length of these bias skirts are perfect for me. Um, you know, if I wanted to make the maxi, you can adjust for that as well, but like this T length, midi length is perfect. And the line drawings show that you have different fullness in the skirts like you can have something that's a bit more just skims the hip but then is more a-line and then others that are fuller and i really 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 appreciate that so you get to use less fabric if you want if you have more fabric to spare and want something that will give you a bit more flow and fluidity you can have that also so i think this pattern is really cool and they say it's a two hour skirt um, for all of the like working with by working with fabrics on the bias videos that I've watched. They do recommend that you hang the fabric, you know, for a day and all of that. So maybe the two hours isn't accounting for all of those steps. But yeah, seems to be that they're marketing it as quite easy and fast. And I'm into that. <laughs> Then I get a selfless sewing pattern here. It's this adorable, like, young girl's dress, shorts, and top set. It's for three to six years, so my daughter has a little bit of time before I can make her this. But, yeah, I have it. It's 1997 Simplicity Pattern. So this McCall's Bias skirt pattern is 1997, if I didn't say that already. Next up for $1.99, I picked up these two. So first up is this 6371. This is another McCall's pattern. It's in my sizes for the most part. I like the silhouette of this, um, but like as a tunic, if you will, because I wouldn't necessarily wear this as a dress, but I love the silhouette of this as a tunic. And I mean, I could like lengthen the flounce and maybe wear this in the fall again with knee high boots, possibly. But 6371, and I think the line drawings are just great. They call it a three hour dress. I love when they tell you how much time they think it'll take you. <laughs> That's always encouraging or discouraging if you're taking much longer than what they said. <laughs> 
but this is a 1993 pattern and I was excited to add this to my stash as well. This pack also came with this jumpsuit. Look at this lady in red. Oh my goodness. I really, really thought that this was interesting. Uh, this is new, so news, okay. It's petitable, <laughs> I like that. But this is six, seven, eight, three. Here are the line drawings. So as you can see, they have the jumpsuit as pants. They have a fitted dress, sort of like a pencil skirt type fitted dress, and then a fit and flare button down dress as well. So it does come with quite a few views, so it's quite the bang for your buck. Um, and this is a 1993 pattern as well. So I got this set for 99 cents, plus 25% off. So this one came with two patterns. The first is this McCall's 7244, and it is this, is it knit? Yeah, so it's a knit uh, pattern, and you can see it better in the line drawings there, fit and flare. It has like a drop waist and then a flounce at the bottom. Mm, because of the V-neck, the length, and all of the variations, I would probably have to make in order to make this work. I don't know. Like, I don't know necessarily that um, I would sew this up, but similar to... It's like similar, right? It's just, this is for wovens, of course, and this is for knits, but aside from the V-neck, they're kind of similar. Um, but yeah, I might save this for someone else, but I think the line drawings are really, really, really pretty. And this is a 2015 McCall's pattern. Here, I got this pack mainly, I guess, for this, but now I'm noticing that it is stupid. So let's hope that it is the size that I need it to be in. But I got it because um, it's like so simple. So you cut two pieces of fabric and then you make some pants. <laughs> and that's awesome. And I figured this would be an easy sort of pajama pants set. Now I would say this if I was going to make pajama pants for my husband. Because um, I, I have a pajama set for me um, with pockets. And this one, of course, if you're just cutting one piece and there is no seam on the side, then you wouldn't be able to add pockets there. So I think for my husband, I would probably want to make his pajama pants with pockets. So I don't know that I would necessarily use this. Um, so maybe I wasn't thinking about that at the time. And also I have to figure out what size this is and if this is usable. So for 99 cents, maybe this wasn't the the best bag to buy because I don't know that I love <laughs> any of the pieces in there, but that happens sometimes. This was a 2.99 set plus 25% off. First thing that I saw was this and I was like, yeah, I want this. <laughs> I want this bag. So this is McCall's P453. That's a different numbering for me this is a 2015 pattern it's meant for knits again this was my first year really working with knits so i was excited to start um you know getting some patterns that i could use with some of those fabrics that i'm really excited to dig into yeah i love the view that she's i love the view that she's wearing as well as view d which it, um, has less ruching around the the midsection you can see it a lot more in the line drawing so I think these are just really nice. I could even flare out the skirt a little bit if I wanted more fullness there, but honestly, I like this um, to lengthen that a little bit as well. So yeah, I think it has potential definitely for me. If you saw my black and white collection plans video, then you know I was raving about my love of like the ultimate peplum top. So when I saw this very easy Vogue pattern like in the plastic, that's another reason why I wanted this set. Um, it's in my size range. It's within the 8 to 16 size range. This is a 2012 pattern. The pack, oh gosh, it's been cut into. I was like, the pack 
package looks really thin. So that's another um, really, you know, it's hard when they come pre-packaged because you can't peek inside. I can't tell. You just have to bring it home and hope for the best. Right now, my Value Village isn't taking returns or exchanges on anything other than clothes. So once I get them home, they are mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that the size might correspond. So long as it's not the smallest size, I think I can make it work. This is for the fabrics that they recommend are broadcloth, shantung, crepe. Um, so yeah, we'll see how I can make this work. But I really love the views on this a lot. Finally, in that set was this Vogue pattern. Um, it's an easy pattern is what it's called. There's a lot going on in these tanks. If this were on its own, I don't know that I would necessarily pick it up, but here we here we are. We have it now. So this is V9005. This is a 2014 pattern. Here are the line drawings. A lot of gathered and swooshing of fabric. It'd be interesting to at least see how it's constructed. I don't know that I would necessarily make that. Another 299 set. They seem to like that pricing. <laughs> so here is a McCall's pattern, 6930. You just get the pants in this one. And yeah, I'm into it. One hour pants. Listen, when they told me that, I was sold. I love the wide leg pants, elasticated waist. I mean, I think some of them have like a drawstring at the waist too looks really cool so this is a quickly quickly my friend this is a 1994 pattern I think it's just super simple and one of those that I would not feel guilty just cutting right into the tissue of this and making myself a pair of pants in an hour like they said so this McCall's pattern 9358 it is eight looks in one pattern. So you get these awesome camisoles and this like sort of relaxed fitting collared shirt. Does it even have buttons? Yeah, okay, yeah. Like a button up shirt. So here's the line drawing of that, the cami. You could add the lace detailing. And I've recently picked up some lace also from the thrift store. So I think that could be nice. I don't have like, just nice camisoles to wear at home or under things. So that, that could be cool. Then I got like this bag, which I don't often purchase. Yeah, these sorts of patterns for like accessories and stuff. So maybe that could be an interesting thing to make for myself or as a gift for someone else one day. I don't know. Uh, but this is 2933. So here are the line drawings different styles of bags so definitely interesting <laughs> um I think view b seems like something I one day may try I don't know um but really really interesting nonetheless this is a 2000 pattern from 2000 Ooh, this this is a big bag <laughs> so here this was the $2.99 set. And I noticed like you once you thrift at a number of different places, you'll kind of get an idea of like when or how they package things. So at one of my thrift stores, I know they don't necessarily go above like three patterns in a set. But when I went a bit further out from where I live and there was another value village somewhere else, they gave me all of these for $2.99. This is like six. Oh, okay, five patterns, but there was another set that had like six in them. It's a lot of patterns. So it does kind of equate back down to the 50 cents per pattern that I get at the Laurel thrift store near me. So interesting. But this is Butterick 4497. This is a 1996 pattern and I got it um, because it's princess themed A-line dress. Simple enough. And it said fast and easy. And I want to see if that's true. So in that same one, you have a 
Oh, somebody wrote their name. I don't know. Jane Hill. <laughs> Thank you, Jane Hill. So this is a C and sew pattern and it's 5070. Really beautiful V-neck. I love this yellow color on her. Um, a V-neck princess scene dress it says very easy so i'm all about very easy it's in my sizes so it's in sizes 12 to 16 and this is a 1997 pattern so i was excited about that i got this new look pattern 6029 and what i love about this is that it's an entire wardrobe set i love when i get the full wardrobe set so you can see here from the line drawings what that looks like and you have this like you know open ended like cardigan coat style i love view c this like really nice wrap top is really nice but i think you could also make it sort of like a vest that you wear over something um if you make it out of like a sweater material but yeah really really cool so that was nice that that came in the pack as well. This is another new look. I'm not even going to look for the year because I have failed to find the year to date with all of the new look patterns. And here I am still looking. No, oh, 2003. Maybe I can go back to the other. I'm not going to go back to the other ones, but this one is 2003. Here is another new look pattern. This is 6548. And this is just the pants on this one that you get. Here are the line drawings. Yeah, really nice, easy wear. Um, they have a flat front and they have an elasticated waist. So that's nice that you get both of those variations. Do I know now where to find the year? Maybe it was just that one. Because I can't find it here either. That is an address, not a year. Yeah. All right, so that's this 6548. Another new look pattern. So this is 6282, and this is Easy Three Hour, another Jane Hill original. <laughs> um, and this one has a vest, it has this button front dress that's more A line, this jacket blazerish sort of thing um, here are the line drawings for that and again this is another one that I think you honestly just have to kind of look beyond the illustration and just look at the line drawings these are classic silhouettes vests have come back into style right I know the sweater vest and possibly these vests will be back in soon too but if you think about it like that then these are items that you can absolutely make. And if you choose the right fabrics, really awesome prints and things like that, or solids, you could have a piece that will be in rotation in your wardrobe for sure. So this is another C and Sew pattern, B4270. Another sort of like wardrobe staple set. You have this long line vest. I, from the picture, thought that this was like a sleeved, cardigan it's not <laughs> it's the top and the vest to, oh no is it no it's not yeah so this is b and a worn together so here is that so as you can see um that's a shirt or you can make it into a dress and then it's the sleeveless vest and then you get the pants so this is a 2004 pattern these came in a set. I don't have the bag anymore for them, but I would assume it was somewhere around $2.99, like the rest of them, I guess. And again, a new, another Vogue pattern. I'm just peeking inside because I felt it and it feels a little bit light, but I think all the pieces are in here. It seems like it's still factory folded, like maybe someone looked in it, but didn't necessarily cut it. I don't think it's cut up. So it's a very easy Vogue pattern, and this is $19.94. I liked it because it had these really awesome um, trousers. What I like about them, if you look at the line drawing, is that it seems high-waisted, and the elastic kind of goes all the way up the waist, which I think is pretty cool. I think it, it doesn't have any markings on it that signal that it has pockets, 
So skirt, lower calf, and pants have elastic waistband and front pleats. Yeah, they don't say anything about pockets on them. So I think it's pocketless, which is the only downside. However, I know how to put inseam pockets. So that might be something I add to this. But they say it's very easy. I love very easy stuff. And it's Vogue. So that makes me happy. This simplicity pattern is 9872. I got it because it was a woven dolman sleeve dress with so many different variations. They market it as like design your own dress. And surely enough, when you look at the line drawings, you really could. I mean, the bottoms are quite similar across the board, but the bodices are really, really cool. So you have some variations there, but I think it just gives you a really simple way to design stuff and this is designs by karen z um and this is this is a 2001 um design here is a new look pattern uh so this pattern is 1995 and again princess seam high ish neckline it's not as high as maybe i would love it to be but it's really really nice um fit and flare sort of dress. They only have one line drawing for it, but it does have ties in the back and that's different. So that's pretty nice. So that's the new look pattern there. This is a whole bunch of selfless sewing and ton of baby stuff in this one. So this is $2.99. Make sure you add the 25% off. But this simplicity pattern, I was just like, oh, babies. Uh, so this is 6259 and it's like all of these like newborn essentials and I have a ton of friends who had babies recently so I was like oh I should snag this in case I can make them some. I wish it came with the little moccasins. I was really hopeful that they added the shoes in there but they didn't include the shoe pattern. But I have found some really great moccasin tutorials on YouTube so... I can do that as well. I'll show you these first. So again, some more baby stuff. And this is McCall's 88. Oh, sorry. This is McCall's 8112. So it's a whole baby package. Um, and this is a 1982. It's for newborns. So here are the line drawings. Some really nice like swaddle kits and all of that. So I thought this was awesome. Then you have Simplicity 6666. Uh, this is a 1984. And yeah, it's just so darling for a little baby girl. So I have some different views and options there. They don't include line drawings on the back of this one, but they show you what's what it is on the front. I have my new snap maker that I used for um, some of my daughter's clothes. So I definitely have what I need to make all of those. And this is another like accessory, something that I probably wouldn't have picked up on my own at all. But, you know, <laughs> a little purse uh, that you could make up if you were interested. So I have this now. And this is m4885 this is a 2005 pattern but this like wooden handle is all the rage and i actually picked up some wooden handles that kind of look like these handles but i'm planning to use them in a different way this pile is getting really really tall okay so let's move on we're almost we only have two bags left so this i thought was a deal $1.99 for all of these patterns so let's get started here most of these though are all selfless sewing patterns they're all kids patterns this I thought was I know they they call it miss so maybe I should have known it's not misses no it's misses did I fit into this I don't know bust I'm on the I'm definitely one of the larger sizes this is size 10 and for me, I'm a bust 36, I would need the size 14. But I feel like if this measures out anything like current big four patterns, like current simplicity sizing, 
I could probably cut this or just, you know, figure in my wearing ease and grade up a little bit. But I, I think it's just so cute. Like, look at how nice this top is with all the little flounces. Um, it is a 1977 pattern. Wow, that's awesome. And has it been... Yeah, I think they've cut into this. This has been cut into, but that's okay. Um, so I just have to peek in there and see what they cut it <laughs> to. Here is a pajama set for kids. Um, it's already been cut into, so it's open, but sizes three to eight. So I just need to look in here and see what they cut it for. And yeah, take a look there. Here is the Easy McCall's little darling girls dresses i love it um so this is one from 2008 yeah ages two to five so i could actually make my daughter something maybe for her birthday i don't think i'll use this pattern um i'll probably just self draft something <laughs> but it is nice to have on hand especially if you're sewing for others like other um, children or children older than your kids so that you can't measure <laughs> in front of you so i do like having the patterns on hand to reference for sizing if i uh, were to make something for someone else so this is a 1985 pattern some more darling dresses i can just like it just reminds me of like full house and something that um they would wear there so that makes me smile michelle <laughs> all right so I have this Butterick 6033, and this is much older. You can even tell by, like, the, the paper uh, that it comes in. I don't know if I'm going to get a year on this one, guys. But look at it. It's so cool. Don't they look so adorable? Here are the line drawings for that. Um, the fit is... A little bit outdated for sure but you know there's that and then the final one in that set was this quick sew and this like look at the paper what it's like it's not tissue you know what I mean like that's really cool in color look at that so that's really nice um, and it's cut like larger than the sizes so I think I'll I'll be able to use that perfectly but it's like overalls it's really nice sizes four to seven will they give me a year here yeah when were they printing out on this type of paper Wow Minneapolis Minnesota no year will I get a year Printed in the U.S. Uh, oh, is this supposed to be the year? Can I can I read that? What is X X X I V four? I don't think that's the year. What's that? Is that the year? I don't know. I don't know what year this is. I really want to know when they were printing on this kind of paper. That would be awesome. They tell me inside even the instructions are like thicker whoa i really want to know yeah this is really cool so i'm looking forward to sewing up some kids overalls one day the final bag this has been long i know thanks for hanging in there guys final bag was 199 plus 25 percent off um, but I got it because it had some things I couldn't let's be honest I couldn't see through the entire plastic for this one and I saw that they had a jacket pattern like in between sandwiched in between so I couldn't see the full you know package then when I got it this is really the the pattern that I wanted and then when I got it I was not in love with it I saw project runway and I got so excited but I don't really care for these jackets that much I think the collar on this one is a little bit um it's not my taste not my style I don't mind the style lines of this I just have to like envision it in different fabric just like don't picture it in this 
leather look like thing yeah i just i thought i'm not a huge fan of this collar i just thought it was something different something more and it was it fell flat for me so this is another one of those like if someone's learning and they want to do a jacket i would gladly gift this because it could be someone else's taste like there are nice design details like what they did with the cuff here on the sleeve you know there are some interesting things it's just not my favorite thing this is 2008 back when project runway was just amazing so there's that then they have these women's tops uh, or mrs tops and this is a 2009 pattern i like that they have the yoke and like the gathers at the center but none of these necklines really suit me that much this is simplicity 2594 i like that it's an easy to sew and it has like this like cowl detail but yeah i don't i don't think i would sew that necessarily then finally we got some skirt patterns here mccall's m4306 yeah just some basic skirt patterns uh you know if you were into that uh again i only got this set mainly for the jacket pattern because it was in the center and i couldn't see it so this is not of all the skirt patterns that i've got like this isn't something i'm drawn to necessarily but something great that i think someone else could use from my stash if they wanted to this is a 2003 pattern wow that that was a lot okay it was even more for me because I'm filming them all today. But um, that was really nice and helpful for me to go through my stash and see what I have to be reminded of all of the patterns. I do not need to purchase not a single pattern ever again in my life. I don't think that's going to happen because have a problem i've been bitten by <laughs> i've i've developed collecting patterns as a hobby now um however like honestly i'm looking at my stash and it is overwhelming and i think i just need to start selecting and matching you know fabrics to patterns and cutting them because i hate cutting patterns <laughs> so i i do need to encourage myself to use what i have stop looking around just like stop going to stores really stop looking at the joann's coupons just dig into my stash both the fabrics and the patterns and start making some beautiful pieces that i can wear but it was really nice to review these with you. I hope it's inspired you to check out your local thrift store, to talk to individuals maybe in your sewing or in your community who might sew and might be de-stashing their patterns and trying to look for awesome folks to gift them to. That could be you. Um, but yeah, if nothing else, I hope that I at least kept you company while you were doing something hopefully creative. And yeah, I wish you all the best in your creative endeavors happy sewing if you're sewing let me know if you have any vintage patterns in your stash where do you get your vintage patterns from which are your favorite what era is your favorite um i'm thinking like from what i've reviewed with you all which 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 years are my favorite oh this doesn't have a year on it but I like, I'm a sucker for the line drawings. I know that. But I think I like um, 80, I, don't, I really love the like vintage, vintage stuff. But I think I like the 80s and 90s. I like those. Um, the 2000s weren't doing a whole lot for me. <laughs> like a lot of the 2000s ones that I have, uh, they're okay. But I really like the 80s and 90s. Um, so let me know which era or which of your vintage patterns are your favorite. I hope to see you in an upcoming video. Please subscribe if you love creative content. Um, right now, I've been just really inspired by a lot of sewing. But I do a ton of other things in the creative 
world as well, including painting, you know, wood burning, you name it. There are a ton of things that you'll see on this channel. So I hope that you subscribe for more. And if you have not already checked out my Simplicity McCall's and Butterick pattern hauls, please do. I'll link them for you up in the cards and down below in the description box. That's all from me today. All right. Bye.